What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Rain Meter skins on Windows 11. Okay, um, it's really cool if you guys don't know what Rain Meter is, it allows you to highly customize your desktop and just basically change up the way everything looks. Okay, um, l let's just get right into it. So I already have Rain Meter installed, you can see it down here right and this is the default uh, widgets that it gives so let's say I can load this one now you can see I have a widget with the clock okay and the, the one it comes with is really basic right um, and if you go Google search you'll find some pretty nice ones so let's just do that now um, let's find one I'll download it and I'll show you guys how to install it and customize and do everything with it so now here is my browser. Let's just search um, rain meter skins. All right. So you can find them on different websites. Um, I believe DeviantArt is one of them, um, which has pretty nice ones. And then there's visual skins. So, all right. I don't know why that's taking a while, but let's just go here. All right. We see some pretty cool ones right off the bat. Um, it's really up to you, you know, you can have some themes that are like crazy like these up here, but then you can also have other themes which is more mellow, you know, just not really noticeable that much, but just uh, on the sidelines. So let's just try to do one that's pretty crazy in itself. Uh, let's go to this one. So the thing about the skins is that the background image also might play a big role in it so you want to make sure that your image that you put as a background goes well with the widgets so for here um, DeviantArt you just want to log in right create a free account and then download all right it downloaded and Let's open the folder, minimize this. Let's drag it to, uh, let's drag it to the desktop. All right, now we can see we have our rain meter skin, the new one we just downloaded. And basically the way to install it is you just wanna double click it, right? And it'll show you the skins and the layouts that it has within it. Uh, this one is called uh, string theory, right? Um, and you just want to press install. So now Rain Meter will like restart with this new widget. All right, so you can see this widget is installed. Um, it's a bit too much <laughs> in my opinion, but you can see it working perfectly well where you see the theme and then not only the themes, but like each of these section actually has correct data in it, right? Um, so, this is the RAM, how much RAM I have, how much RAM I'm using. Uh, this is about my CPUs, this one. And what is this? This is the date. So now you're probably wondering, okay, now if I have something like this, how will I be able to click anything on my desktop? So in Rain Meter, you can choose an option. So hopefully there's not a lot of plugins. All right, there it is. Um, let's l unload most of the animations so I know which one we're working with. Okay, I got the main ones down. All right, let's leave the process. I believe this is the, pr the RAM one, right? All right, let's turn the RAM one back on. And you can see, let's say if I want to select um, I don't know, Roblox, Roblox Studio. And this is blocking it. So I can't, if I double click over here, you can see that um, nothing happens because it's technically pressing the widget and not the actual desktop icon. And to make it click the desktop icon, you want to press click through, okay? And now you can see I'm dragging it, like I, I can get the desktop icon rather than the widget. So in this case, this is not really good because the widget is not see-through, but normally you would have a <clears throat> more lighter, th with, um, lighter themed widgets, okay, even transparent. You can increase the transparency in this, but um, 
this widget is just not supposed to be transparent. I, I'm assuming for this theme, you would have like an empty desktop, right? And this widget would be for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, um, pretty easy to install and work with. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how to use a specific feature in RainMeter or anything, uh, do let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.